One of the great things about working with Brock every day, and believe me, there are many of them, is his access. An unbelievable address book and that little cellular phone of his. He got some information on two Seahawk draft targets that you gotta hear next. Forget cables, switch to Frontier. The Fios Triple Play brings dedicated 100% fiber optics to your home. Fios TV, 15 by five internet and digital phone for $119.99 per month with two year price protection plan on qualifying service. FrontierPacificNW.com. Well, listen, four weeks away from the NFL draft and it's starting to, starting to focus in on a couple of real targets for the Seahawks now that the quarterbacks are mostly out of it at number 12, despite Pete Carroll visiting every quarterback who might be out there, mm -hmm. you're starting to focus really on a couple of guys. Yeah, and the two that we've highlighted on this side, and, and I think we will over the next three and a half weeks, not only because they're positions of need for the Seahawks, but they're also because they're loaded with some really good talent that I think, just like last year where the Seahawks found four starters, end of the season, four starters came out of last year's draft class. If that happens again, it's a bonanza for the Seahawks, and I think at number 12, you have to find a starter, whether that's Luke Keekley, the middle linebacker out of BC, or Quentin Copel is the DN out of North Carolina. So you're right. Fortunately, I've got some relationship and some, some friendship there with a Tom McShay who got back to me, and just the two points of emphasis here that I love to hear because you don't hear it a ton. An instinct and in innate in his pass coverage ability. That's For Luke Keekley. You don't hear that. When was the last time you heard a linebacker through all of the draft and all of the analysis really highlighting and talking about his rare instincts and just innate feel for pass coverage? You don't hear that a lot. You hear great size, great strength, Aaron Curry, 6'3", 250, maybe some instincts around the line of scrimmage, but I'm talking in pass coverage, and for this defense, as you highlighted today with a front four that's already built, and those corners and all of the length, you add that in, that is a really good back seven against some dynamic quarterbacks you're gonna face this season. Now you also have Copels, though, and now if that's available, you can affect the passing game with him as well. And Julius Peppers class, not Julius Peppers, but Julius Peppers' class was McShay's comment, but wondering and questioning, and this has been the red flag, the engine, and does it rev consistently? As for me, and I don't know how you feel about that, that's on Pete Carroll then to make sure it revs all the time. Well, yeah, but the question is, are you getting an Albert Hainsworth? Are you, I mean, they're, I don't want to say no one's unrevable, but... That's Does he bring it down and down? But that's also are, are you the only your life more he's complicated, 12? though, if you're going after somebody that you've got to find a way to motivate when you've got a potential for Keekley who might fit just as well, risk. and you don't have to motivate yep. him. And at some all. of that risk and mitigating those risks, which becomes so ever important when you're evaluating these draft prospects.